What's up, Radar Force? It's Dragon Radar here with another Dragon Ball Super video. Today I'm going to be talking about the potential Dragon Ball Super ending, so let's get right into it. Before I start this video, I'm going to point out a few things about me. I do not watch Dragon Ball Super subtitles. I think that's wrong for a Dragon Ball Z fan to watch subtitles when you can wait for the English dub. If your primary language is English, subtitles is lame. So, But I'm going to get right into it. Anyways, there are really two routes Dragon Ball Super could go with their ending. The first one being something that no one can predict what could happen. But I'm going to touch bases on the other point. Uh, Dragon Ball Super could very well end exactly how DBZ ended with him going to the World Martial Arts Tournament and training Oob. It could totally end the same way with the same ending. Which I think would be cool, but I'm pretty sure most fans would be like big babies about it. Oh my god, why are you going to end like that? No! But, in all honesty, that would be the best ending for Super. Because it would lead route to another Dragon Ball series continuing after Super if Akira Toriyama wants to keep going. And with the latest episodes of Dragon Ball Super in subtitles, which I don't watch, I obviously hear about some minor details. I don't want to spoil anything. But we know that Oob has finally been mentioned in Super, which means... The ending of Dragon Ball Z is now finally canon, which I assumed was canon anyways because Bola was born, which she was in DBZ. So if Bola was born, that means the ending of uh, ending of Z was canon. So I already knew that from the get-go. But I believe Dragon Ball Super could potentially end right where DBZ left off, which would be perfect. And yes, there are some fans out there that say, Well, Dragon Ball Z's ending doesn't make sense anymore because... Oob would be so weak compared to Super Saiyan God Goku. That's bullcrap. In the last episodes of Super that I've overheard, Majin Buu trained for two hours and became incredibly strong. Kind of like Frieza did, but Frieza took four months. And Majin Buu took two hours. If Majin Buu could train for two hours and become that strong, just imagine what Oob could do. Oob is the reincarnation of Kid Buu. Kid Buu is stronger than Majin Buu. So that means... It Oob has more potential than the Majin Buu. If he trained for 30 minutes, he'd be astronomically strong. Now, even though I don't know what Oob could do for the future of the series, I don't know what they have in mind for that, but it still makes sense. If Oob trained for a few days, or months at least, he would be he could probably surpass Goku if he had the proper training, of course, which is what DBZ ended off of with Goku training Oob. Once Oob got enough training behind his belt and he could train himself, he would become a straight beast. So who knows what could happen. The doors are open for anything. But I just had to make a video rant about this. So if you guys think that uh, Super could potentially end with the same ending as Z, comment below. And if you don't think that and you hate me for this, uh, leave a comment down below saying you're sad. Just kidding. I'm, I'm just joking. I'm not mad at anybody. I just love to rant. But uh, seriously, there's a, there's a slim chance I think it could end the same way. But it might not. It might not. I have to see the upcoming episodes. And I haven't watched Sub, so I don't know everything about it. But I'm definitely a big fan of DBZ or Dragon Ball franchise in general. And I can pretty well assure you I can estimate how stuff can end. And I can give my theories. So, with that said, subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, stay tuned. Hit the bell to be notified for every video I post. And until then, guys, I'll see you next time. You guys take care. Peace out. Bling. Outro time. Bing.